Today, we're going to clear up a misconception about muscle and metabolism. It's become common knowledge that muscle burns so many more calories than fat. If you put on more muscle, the story goes, more calories just burn along with it. So increase your muscle mass, right? In this episode of Spartan Health, we're going to look into that. I'm Dr. Nada, and I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic, an innovative natural treatment and wellness toolbox. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. While it's true that muscle does burn more calories than fat, the importance of this difference may be a bit exaggerated. As it turns out, resistance training, which is often the preferred way to build muscle, is important in keeping many of the body's functions healthy and vibrant, but it's not the best way to lose weight. Not convinced? Here are some things to think about. Many studies that demonstrate how muscle mass increases your calorie consumption measure your body's total metabolic rate as a way to determine how new muscle mass burns calories. But that metabolic rate is a measure of all of a person's daily activities, not just that of the muscle mass. It turns out that on a daily basis, at the same time your muscles are working, so are other parts of your body, and they're burning calories too. Your organs are doing this all day long. Even fat burns calories indirectly by secreting proteins. Almost everything your body is doing outside of exercise is known as your basal or resting metabolism. You might be surprised to learn that the basal metabolism takes up 60 to 80% of your body's total consumption of energy. So, what are you going to do if you're looking to control your weight, but you don't want to do a lot more resistance training? Well, in a word, it's balance. Number one, watch your calorie intake, but don't binge diet. In general, it's a simple equation. If you burn more calories than you consume, you'll probably lose weight. But there is a catch. Binge dieting may result in a permanent shift downward in your metabolism. So a gradual approach is definitely better. Number two, drink lots of water. Drinking water can suppress your appetite, but drinking water also burns calories, especially cold water, because your body has to heat it up. And water is necessary to burn fat. Number three, have a varied exercise routine. Guess what? That's exactly what any Spartan race will do. Weight training is good in this domain, but it's not the only thing. Daily aerobic exercise is a very efficient kind of movement for burning calories. But make sure to add little things to your daily routine. Take the stairs instead of an elevator, or walk to the local convenience store instead of using a car. And you've seen Joe, he's always carrying a kettlebell or a sandbag around. So even low intensity activities, like working in your backyard, can add to your daily calorie output. So in short, how do I weigh in on only weight training to burn calories and to be in your best form? It's not enough. Activities that vary your routine not only prep you for your next race, but they keep your metabolism in good form too. So thanks for listening to this Spartan Health episode. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday as part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips, information, and tools to help you stay on track. And we have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. So at Spartan, we're here for you. We're your partner in resilience training for mind, body, and spirit. Thanks for listening.